Hey everybody. So I have a 16 by 20 canvas and I'm going to do um, a large flip and drag. And I'm going to use um, this leftover plum and this, I believe this is an amethyst pearl from Deco Art. And I have some purple. I have this tiny little bit of black that we're going to use. And I think those four colors will probably be enough. Because I figured the purple would be the dark for us. So I'm using up paints. <laughs> I have to use up some paints. So I'm spraying my cup with the WD-40 silicone spray. Not to create cells, but to release the paint. Okay. So I'm going to do black on the bottom. I'm going to use all of this. It's not very much at all. Okay, and then we're going to use up this plum. And some amethyst. Oops, didn't want to do that. Now I got silicone on there for my finger. That's not good. And some purple. Okay. We missed a paper towel. Silicone off. Okay. So I'm going to use up what I have left of white without silicone in it. Oh, I'm not very careful today. have one of those days where you're just like I don't care <laughs> I'm having one of those days today I don't care I think I'm ready for a vacation. <laughs> it's raining here today and it's not very pretty. And now it's getting late and it's starting to get dark. And now's the perfect time to film. Alright, I'm going to leave that tipped over here in case I need a smidge of white. Okay, so I'm going to start up here. Well, maybe here. Drag up and then down. I'll give that a little stir. That plum did sink to the bottom on that. That was weird. Okay, so 
So when we do flip and drag, we want to glide the cup on top of the white paint as much as possible, not drag it against the canvas. Because then you are left with bare spots and you have to figure out how to fill without tilting. So I'm just going to glide this up. I've released the suction. And I'm going to glide this up. A little turn and bring it down. Now remember, I'm going to go back up and get more paint and bring it down. So, because I don't like all that plum there. But I think I'm going to dip my cup in the white paint first. And you will scrape once in a while. It's almost impossible to not scrape at all. get my five ounce cups again I, I'll be less prone to do that okay I wish I would have had more black but you take what you get I can't stand my studio being a mess it's driving me crazy <laughs> It's just a garage, but half of it's my studio. <laughs> All right, so I have a little bit of bare spot here. I'm just going to move this with my finger. Since I've already run over on the edge there, I'm going to bring this this way. Bring it back. And then back again to the middle. It's not the prettiest, but we don't know what it's going to look like till it's dry. Okay, so now I'm going to airbrush my edges out, and we'll go from there. Take the very edge of your paint and push out at an angle. I like that dark purple in there. Wish we could put a little bit more. That plum really took over. I think it was called Frosted Plum from Deco Art. Someday I hope to just have my metallics left. <laughs> I still have probably. 60 bottles of paint over there. Okay. You know, and I didn't even torch that to get rid of the air bubbles. So I'll do that now. If I get any more cells. I 
like to say hello to all my new subscribers. My goodness, I probably got 150 new subscribers this week. Yay. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. You need any help, don't be afraid to ask. We also have um, a group on Facebook. Actually, there's several acrylic pouring groups. Uh, acrylic, acrylic Pouring Basics is um, the one that I'm on the most probably. That's where I met everybody. And then um, Acrylic Pouring. And I believe Debbie has that um, group. I, I do go in there quite a bit too, but not as much as the other one. I just think um, the girls post more on the Acrylic Pouring Basics. So I think I'm just going to leave this. It's actually quite pretty. Um, you're seeing it from a different angle than I am. So let's turn it. I can't wait to see what it does when it's dry. Um, three colors that I never would have thought would go together, but they're not bad actually. And I think when that plum dries, um, I think it'll be more pinky. Let me see by the bottle. Yeah. This is the color on the top of the bottle. It's, a, it's like a dark mauve. So with the purple and the black, which very little black that we had, um, I think it will be okay. I'm going to give it one more torch down here. Bring up some more of those cluster cells there. See, and I'm looking at it on my monitor right now, so I can see if I need to touch up anything else. But I think I'm going to leave it alone. Let me give you a close up. That's the cluster cells there in the corner. Not much going on in that gob right there. And then we have that pretty black up in the corner. So we'll see what happens with it when it dries. Yep. Okay, girls and guys. <laughs> If you haven't subscribed yet, click on subscribe below and click the bell and you'll be notified when I upload the next video. Um, I do upload um, usually every other day, if not every day. If I have a bunch of videos, I do every day. And um, click like and share this video with your friends or in other groups. I don't mind. Um, please leave a comment, even if... Um, it's just to say that you like it and uh, I can tell you thank you. <laughs> and join me on Facebook at Christina Welch Art where you can get, um, be more detailed with your questions and I probably can help you even more. Um, I will start doing tutorials here um, first week in February. Um, I'm going to start with the airbrushing probably and then we're going to take it from back to the basics, learning how to mix paint um, and the supplies that you'll need. So if you're just starting out, stick with me because I'm going to go through the whole thing starting next week. So I hope I will see you back here. So have a great night and I will see you on the next one. Bye guys. <laughs>